talking about the force. Yeah. Actually, it's not actually a force. It is an energy that needs to be directed into choose this day. And that is what you're doing, willingly or unwillingly, knowingly or unknowingly. You're directing energy into your world of experiencing as within, so without. That's the drama man, the play of humanity for all of us. As within, so without. Just start right there. Well, you're equating the force with love, and love needs to force nothing. Love can be a force, but it need not be. There's only God. And absolute love loves absolutely. That is the study of Scripture. If you don't come away with that, then you missed it. The story is, Son, all I have is yours. He gave himself to you completely. Yes, to awaken to, I am that I am, always better than the best. See, the grand I am, that's consciousness of being. That's, that's God. Consciousness of being something. That's man, the drama, the play of humanity, what I'm doing, this play of humanity. <laughs> but that isn't who you are. That's merely what you're doing in, through, and of the one power. Yes. But would you now take control to actually direct your thinking and feeling, which is how you are directing the power through your world of experiencing in your everydayness? And the subconscious mind is the producer. No, no, it's not here to debate anything or take issue with you. No. No, no, it's not here in any way to change what you're thinking feelingly about, but only produce it. <laughs> well, you're warned many times to be aware. To be aware of what it is you believe, because believing is receiving, and that's rather it's good or otherwise. And if you believe it's a rotten place to live, well then, that's exactly what it will be for you, a rotten place to live, even if it isn't for everyone else around you. Look, there are those who live in places that we here in the United States would consider just utterly unacceptable. But yet, there are happy people there. And I said that, and some people said, well, that's because they don't know anything. Yes, in a sense, you're right. Because there is so much that they don't know, but then there's so much that we don't know either. <laughs> well, we're totally unaware of. Well, the more we do know, the better our lives will be, I assure you. Because the story is, yes, that's the drive. That is the drive. Desire. I mean, why does it say theater and not church? Because you say it sounds like church. It is theater, because it is in the theater of mind, where it is we do our work. And I can talk to you from a first-person experiencing theater, and it does sound somewhat different, but actually it really isn't. It's a first-person, present-tense experiencing of what the message is to everyone, and the message of Scripture to every child born of a woman, religious or not religious, you're a thinking, feeling being. And the message to all of us, very simply, is do a thing, do a thing, what? What thing? what thing are you doing? That's the thing you're doing. And if you want to do it differently, then you're thinking ahead of your evidence. So, have a new state. Have a new mindset. You're thinking from a new state because it's coming through you. It isn't coming to you. <laughs> what is he saying? Yeah, I know what he said. I know what was said. He said it as you think you are. That's what Jesus said. And that's what was said to me. And what was said to me is that all things are possible to those who believe. And what you're hearing about is looking for something better. And better is being offered. And what you're looking for is looking for you. <laughs> well, do you know what seeking is? Seeking is feeling after in imagination, in the theater of mind, because what you're looking for, as I said, is looking for you. Because... Yes, looking for you. <laughs> well, 
the seeking is offered as whatsoever you're given to choose from potential. And that really does leave it wide open. But remember, it is potential. See, if you seek, you shall find. It, it's not, not maybe, it's shall find. So, really. Yeah, when, when we allow self-doubt to cloud our visions, see, we're just denying ourselves. You have a valid say. I'm here to impart to you your own message. Yes, whatever it is you do with it or don't do with it, that's your business. I'm not here as an example. I'm here as a witness. What I heard by the hearing of the ear from without as being so, I found it to be so. But it's your business. Yes. Well, what you want, that's your business. I don't need to know you. I don't need to know what you want. And you don't need to know me. You heard the information that your say is a valid say. You're about saying your valid say. Now, if you would just turn to and discern the message to see the value in discerning what you're talking to yourself about morning, noon, and night, thinking feelingly, yes, where is it leading you? Well, because it's all creative. <laughs> Good or otherwise. No, no, not generally. Every word we're told, every word is taken in a culmination to make up your life. Disapproval, that disapproval. Every word is taken in a culmination to make up your, word, your world of experiencing. Well, well maybe, you're, maybe it's better now because your conversations are better. It's as you believe it is to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, you may think differently today than you did yesterday, and it may be so minuscule a difference. I mean, it, but it may be monumentally small, if, but if you'll take notice, it is still operating in, through, and of the one power. Well, we're told that we're denying ourselves. All denial is self-denial. Well, from your question, I think you misunderstood. I didn't say this is a message for you. I said this is a message from you, to you, for your awakening. Arouse thyself, O Lord, why sleepest thou? I mean, why tell us that? Why, why do we need to know that? Oh, the message is very clear. Your imaginal activity is saying to you, I go and prepare a place for you. And when I have prepared a place for you, I will return and take you with me. It is all imaginal. Yes, this whole drama, man, is the self being pushed out through assumption into the world of... of yes, a wonderful human imagination is God himself, the all things to all. <laughs> yeah, well, if he didn't do it, it wasn't done. That's the message to all of us. I am with you always. I will never leave you. Omnipresence. Are we not told this is a shadow world? Yeah, just a shadow of a virtual reality. You are the reality, dreaming the dream, and you're given whatsoever as a potential to choose from. So you do have a choice. It can be a dream or it can be a nightmare. Choose this day. And if it has become a nightmare, then you're given juice this day. <laughs> well, I know you're all conditioned, hypnotized, mesmetized, born into this ongoing drama. We're all conditioned to what's ongoing at the time we enter in. But then it is up to the individual when we reach that age of reason, whatever age that is, when you really start thinking for yourself first person. Well, it's no more just hearsay. You want to know first person. I was resolute to know first person. And if you're resolute to know first person, that's the beginning of awakening. To ever greater, greater degree, yes, resolute to know first person, present tense, seek and you shall find is the word. And shall find what? New life, new lifestyles. There is, you can, whatsoever. This has already been provided for you to choose this day, this day. Do so consistently, persistently, better than the best. 
No, there's no void. Infinity is always effective. Is always in operation. Just try, try not to stay in one place too long because then you get that nuisance factor in mind, in imagination. Yes. Oh, don't just be wanderers. You hear the message, you say you agree with the message, and yet if you don't invest in yourself to actually operate what you say you believe, well, then you're missing out. Oh, I've achieved it many times. Well, in a room like this, full of people, you want to know first person. I can give you the information from a first person, present tense experiencing, but I can't experience it for you. I can cheer you on. Yes. I can encourage you. Yes. And really, everybody is at least suspicious that they may be looking for someone else to do for them that which they know in their own heart they must do for themselves. They're at least suspicious of it. You are suspicious of it, at least. No, no, I'm not claiming anything professional about this. This is a first person, present tense experiencing. I am sharing it with you as it was shared with me. It's what came through me, not to me. I mean, it was originally s shared in Revelations. Well, I can only say now that in retrospect, we have always been having revelations. We just didn't recognize them. We weren't paying attention. We were too busy. Well, for a long time, I was just a hanger on. I, I said I believe, but I only knew it about. I had not followed through. Just holding on, but not really digesting, not really discerning, not really testing first person, present tense, experiencing. Oh, I went on year after year of denying myself, saying, oh, well, I know that. But I didn't really know that. I only knew about it. I heard by the hearing of the ear. But that's the difference that makes the difference. Hearing by the hearing of the ear, you hear what's worthy of your attention. But are you p paying attention? I didn't. I didn't follow through. Not immediately. Oh, that lazy-mindedness, that double-mindedness. <laughs> we, we all suffer that in varying degrees of intensity and intent. But what is your intent? Well, that, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, as far as us receiving the better, it's there. It's ours. Other than what it really is what we expect. Because what you expect, that's what you get. But that might not be what you wanted. Well, that is unless they happen to be the same thing. And if they are, that's wonderful. Expand, expand, expand. I mean, you follow the idea. Well, you found the secret. How mind works. Desired change. And you're on your way. Better life, better lifestyles. That's what's been promised to you from the beginning. If a man would order, his conversations are right, he's told. You would be shown salvation. The answers, the solutions, the, yes, that's what the art is, ordering your conversations in accordance with your dreams. If a man would order his conversations are right, he would be shown salvation. Well, discover even for moments at a time that your world is actually yourself pushed out. I mean, it is available for anyone, everyone. It's not about ability, it's about willingness. Are you willing? Well, the inheritance you were given. Son, all I have is yours. That's the inheritance. God gave himself completely. Well, through the imagination, man is pushed out into the world of experiencing. Understand, it's all one power. <coughs> <coughs> Not lesser power, excuse me. Well, lesser powers only seem to be. If it's less than one power, then it's all an illusion. This power, yes, one power. This, this, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> well, what, what we're calling reality, this drama man, this play of humanity, is only a virtual reality. You are the reality, right here, right now. Yes. Well, this is about who you are, reality, your spirit. 
Everything out here, we're told, is second hand. This isn't reality. It's only what reality is doing. 